Hey everybody, Kyle here from Smoking Beaver with an exciting new video. I've been waiting a bit to do this. I'm very happy that we can finally be filming it. I have here a mystery snack box. This is from Snack Shack. They are uh, just like a small independent company from Toronto. I live in Canada, so Toronto's not too far away from me in Ontario. This is a mystery box that they make. So it's a random assortment. I think there's like six items in here we can take a look at. Hopefully we get some uh, cool new munchy ideas. So let's dig in. Let's do Kit Kat Chunky. This is like a hazelnut one it looks like. Yeah, hazelnut cream. That looks pretty good. We'll be giving these all like a taste test at the end of the video. First, I just kind of wanted to unpack it all and see what we've got. What else do we have in here? This looks like a Twinkie. It's from Hostess, but it has like coconut on it. Look at that. We got like a tropical coconut Twinkie going. Looks like it's kind of sweating there in the bag, but don't worry. Okay, next up, it looks like we've got a drink of some kind. This is a Fanta, Berry Fanta. It's got like blueberries and raspberries on it. I've never seen that before. Hopefully people watching in different countries, like in the States, hopefully this isn't all just like common at like your local 7-Eleven. Hopefully it's kind of like mysterious, you know? Definitely looking forward to getting a sip of that. Let's see what else we got. This is a big one. This is cookies. Twix cookies. Caramel centers. Damn. Look at that. They got like a gooey center in there. Caramel flavored. It's not even like its own company. Like I thought it would maybe be like Chips Ahoy or something, but it's straight up just Twix cookies. Sweet. Looks like we have another cookie thing here. I see Oreos. Unwrap it. Or maybe it's a chocolate bar. Milka Oreo. It's like a chocolate or caramel bar or something. I've never seen this company before, Milka. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I don't really know how else I could say it. Yeah, this one definitely fits the munchie criteria. Look at that. We got mini cookies embedded in chocolate. They got the cream in the middle. We got a cow. So far, so good. We got a nice little assortment here. I do want some more kind of sugary candy. And it looks like we've got something in here. Airheads gum watermelon with micro candies. Damn. I've never seen Airheads gum before. I can actually smell it already, even without taking it out of its little plastic here. Oh, and look at that, they're sugar free. They've got micro candies in them, but they're sugar free. Very cool. Looks like we got one more item down here in the box. Nerds of some kind. Watermelon and cherry. Ooh, I'm liking that. Figured we'd get one more good look at these before I dig in. Let me know down in the comments which one of these interests you the most. And uh, also, if you guys get these in your country, like normally, like can you just walk into the Walmart and pull out a berry Fanta off the shelf? Let me know. First and foremost, I think I'm going to try these Twix Caramel Centers. They don't have one of those like pull top things. I don't know if you guys have seen those before, so I just have to like open it the old fashioned way, I guess. Oh man, as soon as you open them up, it's like you're getting blasted with caramel chocolate smell. I feel like I'm in Willy Wonka's factory. You can see they're like pretty big cookies too. I thought these were going to be very small. I don't know why. They look normal on the outside. They got a little butthole in the center. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, very caramelly. It's very crispy too. I thought it would be like a soft cookie. In the center, it's, it's a little more chewy, but even still, it's, it's pretty crispy all the way through. Oh man, I'm gonna be like sugar overloaded at the end of this. I can feel it already. All right, sticking with the cookie theme, let's try this Oreo Milka bar. I'm very curious to see what this tastes like. All right, I got it opened up here. Immediate first impressions. This actually looks more like chocolate than it does on the front. I was very confused if this was like a caramel bar or not, but yeah, that looks pretty much like chocolate. The sheer mass of those Oreos barely fits in there too. Those things are squeezing out. Okay. Ooh, that is rich chocolate, but it's like, mmm, that's good quality stuff. I feel like that's like a thousand calories per bite, but very good, very rich. I keep doing this. That's my Italian heritage coming through. I know I don't look Italian at all, but I am. You can tell. I think we're going to open up the drink now and wash it down. This is the Fanta Berry drink. Hopefully it's not carbonated and spray everywhere. Be oh, okay, we're good. Mmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I, I don't really know what's in there. If it contains no juice, it says 100% natural flavors. I guess they just got the like essence of the berry out of there. It's actually not as like sweet and sugary as I thought it was going to taste. 
yeah, Barry Fanta, that's that's up there on my list. I really enjoyed that. Next up, let's go for this uh, sweaty coconut Twinkie. Yeah, this smells like this smells like my stomach's gonna hurt after. Oh my god, super like soft and spongy, more so than a normal Twinkie it feels like. But I don't know if that's just the coconut doing something. Yeah, it's good. It's very coconutty. If you don't like coconut, definitely do not try these because it's like a hundred percent of the flavor. I think maybe the squishy like softness is from whatever's making this sweat in here. I guess it's the coconut is kind of like absorbing into the bread on the outside. So it's like really moist. It's like a cake. Pretty good though. I, I kind of thought that was going to be off-putting, but it's not too bad. I'd probably only be able to eat like one though. Jesus, my blood sugar is like skyrocketing. I feel like I'm going blind. All right, so far it's all been like chocolate baked goods. I feel like this kind of falls in the same category. So before I dig into that, let's try a candy. I got to say cherry nerds sound like really good i feel like i'm definitely gonna like this they got the like pull tab in the middle and then you can do either flavor on both sides or you can just like rip the whole thing off if you're uh if you're feeling really jazzed about it all right i'm opening up the watermelon side first here there they are they're like a deep green looking good gotta close my eyes to really soak in the ratatouille flavor experience mmm those are really good they kind of just taste, I don't know what they taste like. They don't really taste like watermelon. Maybe it's just overpowered like sugar flavor. I don't really know what that was. Let's try the red one. Oh yeah. Those are right away, you can tell those are cherry. They have kind of like a sour tanginess to them. Ooh, those are good. I like those. I'm definitely a candy guy, like over chocolate and cookies and stuff, candy takes the lead, so. I'm a little biased, but these are really good. Next up, we've got this Kit Kat Chunky with hazelnut cream filling. Upon immediate observation, it doesn't look any different from a normal Kit Kat Chunky. Um, I will say, I think the ones that I've gotten are normally split into two chunks. This is split into three, so I don't know. Maybe it is different. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Yeah, it is like much softer and creamier on the, on the top. The bottom just looks like normal Kit Kat, like you can see the wafer down there. There's just like a light layer of cream on the top there. Mmm. It's much richer than than a normal Kit Kat though. It's really like filling the mouth there. Alright, last thing from the box here is this Airheads gum with the micro candies. This is also watermelon flavored. Let's give this a try. I'm excited for these. It's like cracking the Da Vinci Code to get into this thing. Oh wait, no it's not. They have like a pull tab right here. And there we go. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Nice. All right, the smell coming off of this is so powerful. Opens up sideways, that's pretty wild. What does that say? Play more, play delicious. Don't tell me what to do, Airheads. All right, I got the one stick of gum here. It's still got the Airheads like logo on there. Kind of cool. All right, I can see the micro candies in there. You can see the like little dots and stuff. It's also just like straight up coated in sugar. I can feel it, it's like all over my fingers. Ooh, and when you chew it, you can get the sugar too. Oh, wait a second. No, they say they're sugar-free. So I don't know what that is on the outside. This is really good. When you immediately start chewing it, it almost gets like cold for a second right in the middle. They have like a red like strip in the middle. I guess that's the watermelon flavor. Yeah, overall, the Airheads gum, very good. I don't know what else to say about it. Chews nicely. If you're in high school and you whip out the pack of gum, all your friends come running. If it's Airheads gum, they're going to steal it all. So I don't know, maybe get some like Excel or something. Overall, thank you guys for watching this mess of a video. I hope you enjoyed all these cool little snacks that we got here. I hope some of them were new for you too. And uh, if they weren't, you gotta hook me up or something because we don't have snacks like this here. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining for you. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, you can dislike it. Tell me in the comments if there's something that you wanna see different, some changes you wanna see made. This is a new type of video for the channel. I do think it's great content, but it is a little bit different from what's normally on here. So let me know what you think about it and um, keep making hand motions. As always, if you like this sort of content and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. It shows me the channel is good, supported, it's worth continuing. And uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching.